Amber Rose is sharing her thoughts, oh, I just read this, on forgiving people. So while she was on the Happy Wife, Happy Life podcast, Amber said that she's all for not forgiving people if she's not feeling it. Take a look. So for me, I don't believe in forgiveness <gasps> if you don't want to forgive. Oh. Yeah. So um, that's my philosophy. I'm very happy with still hating people because <laughs> it makes me happy. I love that. Yeah. So wow. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are like, forgiveness is gonna heal you. Yeah. You're gonna be better. You know. Um, I think if it's eating away at you, where it's like um, affecting your life, then maybe you should try a different avenue. But I'm very comfortable with with hating people from my past. <laughs> to say this, I have never heard somebody say I'm comfortable hating people. Because I always feel like hating is such a toxic place, a toxic space to be in. Because, in, in, you know, you cannot tell people how to feel or when it's time for them to forgive. That's not on you. People got to follow their own path. But I am saying, but saying um, I'm comfortable hating people, that's a very foreign concept to me. Because when you hate people, that's a lot. You, to be around that kind of energy, because even the host, did you see, they were shocked when she said, I'm very comfortable hating people. She, they went, oh! oh. <laughs> because, you know, it's like, when you're comfortable hating people, that means you probably talk about it a lot. Who wants to be around that all the time? Because it's so toxic and it's so negative. Because you understand the amount of energy it takes to be comfortable hating people? Like, you got to get up. You got to put yourself into a space because that's not a natural space. You got to put yourself in a space to get comfortable hating people, which means if you're comfortable hating them, it probably was a period of discomfort that you had to go through to get to the comfort place. It's even talking about it is too much energy. <laughs> I mean, you know, because when you see that person that you hate, then you gotta go to the other side of the street to avoid them, or you confront them, or you pull up all of that energy to confront the person that you hate. It's just so much space. I feel like I feel for Amber, because I feel like if you keep hating, it keeps you stuck in one place in your life, and it keeps you from evolving into the good things that would normally come to you. You ever, you ever been around somebody who just, they've been hating so much in their life and they'll say something to you like, you know, and then he cheated on me and then he did this to me and then they're so, and you go, how, how, when did that happen? 14 years ago! <laughs> and, and you're like, oh my gosh, you, you, sometimes you can spend so much energy hating somebody and then here's the thing, the Haiti ain't even thinking about you. Yeah. The hate, I don't, is it Haiti or is it is it called the Haiti or the Haitian? The hate the Haiti. Go with the, God on that one, Sherry. Go with, go God, with God. The Haiti. Not the the Haiti. The Haiti is living their best life. They're not thinking about you. They're doing whatever they want to do, and you gotta summon all of that energy to be comfortable in hating them. So I just say, Amber, I'm not telling you when, but I say at some point, you're gonna have to let it go and forgive because also, Amber. You got a son. You have you have a, a child. Uh, maybe children. Does Amber have two? I think it's two sons, Sherry. She's got two sons. Yeah. You got two boys who are watching everything that you do. And is that something that you really want to pass on to your kids to be comfortable in a space of hate? You know, sometimes when we have children, we got to think beyond ourselves. But um, that's all I'm saying, Amber. Girl. The one thing I am good with Amber about is this one thing I can't forgive. And I will not, I will, ooh, I'll cut you if you eat my food out of the refrigerator. <laughs> you ever know, when I know I got something good in the fridge and I've been thinking about it all day, like for instance, my pizza that's one day old, and you know when pizza's one day old, that's when the flavors meld together. When you put that pizza in the, uh, in the microwave, the sausage is gonna emit a whole new flavor. I got butter on the crust that has melted. It's right soggy the way I like it. And when it pops into my mouth, I know there's gonna be a feeling of euphoria that goes down my body with my one-day-old pizza. 
and if I come home from work and I've been thinking about that pizza all day and I don't see that pizza in the refrigerator, no, I can't forgive that. You done said I can't forgive because I don't play about my food. If I'm making oxtails with some greens, with greens mixed with kale and mustard, and it's simmering on the stove, my oxtails and my greens, and I come in that kitchen, and that pot is empty, mm -mm, I will cut you out of my life. <laughs> but other than that, I can forgive a lot. I really can. <laughs> so, Amber, I just say to you, sis, you gotta learn to let some stuff go, girl. We're gonna have a good